something that was coming up earlier, and I know since, I don't know if you would have seen it, Joshua has actually put a statement out. Um, but it literally broke as I walked through the door. The Telegraph said that Joshua was close to accepting a 50 million step aside um, deal to Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk can sort of get things rolling. Um, just your thoughts. You've worked alongside Joshua and uh, worked closely with him. Just mentality-wise, what Joshua perhaps should do maybe or things he should avoid in this situation because it's one of them situations where you're going to get a lot of people going, you've got to take the fight, get your belts back. It looks like you're scared if you don't. But then on the other side, if he's got things to work on, he can take the money and take the time. So I, I don't know, just from your side, kind of, if you can piece together what you perhaps might do there. Yeah, but what you've got to remember is, and what the public have got to remember is, boxing's a business. They do this for money. This is their job. First and foremost, that is. And, uh, you know, you're saying there that the public are seeing him uh, back down from a challenge. But that's not boxing's not like that because any boxer are getting with any other fighter. You know, you've got to know a boxer's mentality. They're, they're proper gladiators. They, they, they don't fear anybody. But when there's business proposition, if you can go and get 15 million sitting indoors and watching a fight on the telly, and then you're the next up for the undisputed championship of the world. That's no that's called enough. that's called yeah that's called business. And uh, you know one thing I do know about Anthony Joshua, as you say, I worked alongside him for a few years. Is he's a very acute businessman, and you know he, he knows exactly what he'll be doing there. You know, and I, he, he'll be challenging you for the undisputed championship of the world, whether it be Tyson Fury or or Usyk who comes out victorious in that. So. You know, I think it's a great decision if he can uh, get another fight, like a warm-up fight in the interim, you know, and uh, and then fight the winner of them two with 15 million in the bank as well. You know, it's uh, all, all that all that bravado from people that sit behind the scenes and talk. You know what I mean? They're, they're not the ones who have got to get in the ring and uh, fight. So, oh, you know, he's doing the right thing, I believe, and that's the thing that I would say. 99.9% .9 of boxers would do yeah. if they had that opportunity. Yeah. And if we are to believe that there's going to be a lot of changes perhaps or even minor changes, I don't know, but some changes to his training team um, and some of the people around him, would it be wise from a fight perspective to have one under your belt without such sort of jewels on the line as well? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know what he's doing with his training team. Um, you know, know, knowing him like I know him, uh, I don't see him leaving this country to go and train. I believe he'll stay in the country. Uh, Would it be a good idea for him to potentially think about leaving the country, get out of your comfort zone, maybe? Not really, no, because he's comf you know, he's comfortable here, he likes training here, the facilities are brilliant here. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he brings someone in, an experienced American trainer in or whatever, but you know, aside from that, uh, you know, I think he, he he should have kept Rob on in some sort of capacity. But listen, if he he wants to change and he wants to go to somewhere else, then you know, and that's what he feels, then you know, so be it. And uh, but I don't believe that he'll train outside this country for that fight.